Hello, my name is Patrick Holland, and I'm here to discuss what it is to be an expert witness. When you are testifying for either the defense or the prosecution as an expert witness, what you're bringing to the table is your experience and expertise as a fire investigator and how you uh, investigate fires. Some of the things that you're going to want to prepare for yourself before this is you want to look and dress professional. The best way to do that is to wear your uniform. This not only gives your testimony the credibility of the fire department and um, the uniform that you wear, but it is also the highest level of the uniform you wear being your class A's. Um, this does tend to affect the jury the jury in a positive way. You also want to make sure your uh, curriculum vitae is up to date. Um, this describes any educational experience you have in any uh, fires that you have um, investigated in the past. Um, this is a very important as it lays down the foundation of your credibility. One of the most important things you need to do is not be confrontational with the uh, attorneys. Um, whether you are testifying for either side, the other side does get to cross-examine you and they will try to put you in a bad light. Uh, one of the ways is by getting you to be argumentative or um, get you upset and flustered in the stand. As a professional, your job is to be professional at all times and be the person uh, who is responsible and does not fly off the handle or lose their place. Uh, the biggest thing to do is to simply answer the questions that you're asked. Uh, do not offer any more information that you need, uh, that you think you may need to add. Um, you want to make sure that the question is uh, answered thoroughly and completely and you want to make sure that the evidence stands for itself. Fire modeling is something that you can use in the, in the courtroom. Um, the use of computers can really add it, uh, accurately depict what happens in a fire nowadays. Um, the science on fire modeling is very, very extensive. It has been very tested uh, and it's something that is very useful if you do have a fire where it has traveled because of flow path or because of wind drivenness. You can actually show how the fire um, went the way it did because of the external factors. Anyways, um, everybody out there, I hope you do very well in your endeavors as a fire investigator and continue to um, go to school at Columbia Southern. Thank you.